All right, guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. I got the longer, what you call it, all set up, 3D printer. I had to follow this, some instructions. This uh, end stop down here. You can see where I'm pointing. Anyway, this little bracket right here has the end stop. It actually went in. I thought it went a different way, but anyway. Got everything tightened down. I tightened the two on the bottom for these rails. And then uh, I tightened the four for the little brackets. So first couple of mods, mods I'm doing is uh, I'm gonna ditch this automotive wire loom. So I cut the zip ties and stuff on it. Could have used this for project crack pipe. If you guys, uh, watching my videos. Anyway, um, just put that down there. And uh, this stuff, mushrooms or balloons open. So just gotta get it to balloon enough to slide it on. Uh, everybody hates the uh, you call it I don't even know what you call it the automotive stuff they say it's noisy noisy creaks and it makes stuff stiff because this obviously moves up and down moves across this moves across which is really smooth compared to the uh, a net a8 what I've been using and printing on for a long time if I, uh, find a way to do this, probably balloon it, grab the thing, let it go, kind of like a snake does when he eats his prey. Oops. See that? Grab it, let it go, and let it, let it go down the pooper. Anyway, so this, I'm doing this upgrade right now. Um, I'm gonna change this this line with this blue stuff because this has I don't know it's just better tolerance in there. Even though it's a probably counterfeit bootleg version, um, that's what I'm gonna do. And then uh, yep. so not quite sure if there's more upgrades. There is more upgrades coming. I got more filament coming. Um, Got a couple of projects for a guy at work. He's got an old uh, Honda Odyssey 350, FL350. And uh, yeah, his steering wheel, it takes a steering wheel, dilly bob, and uh, steering wheel cover. And I guess that cover. Um, I don't know what you say. It like deteriorated or broke or whatever it did. Um, so anyway, he wanted me to print him a new one. So I got some coming. I do have to go get, I'm gonna go get a lighter because you have to burn these edges to keep them from fraying. So um, yeah, I'll be back once all this is on. I have to do this one, this one these ones here and then uh, I'll come back uh, yeah we'll, we'll hook this up this just slides in there no big deal then the filament rides on it um, yeah I'll be back once I do this I gotta get some zip ties and a lighter basically and uh, yeah we'll go from there uh, I'll be back we'll be back with uh, more 3D printing with bonds. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna turn this music off anymore. I get whatever it's called. All right, here we go. I'm trying to do a leveling on it. Got it all set up. Got the wire loom on it. Wire loom. It's getting warm. Um, 
stuff I have extra, zip ties, wrench, Allen wrenches, Cody knife, it's a little Allen um, wrench. So, we won't hit the bed, and it's in the bed. Oh, I'm gonna have to go up a lot. Or I'm gonna have to tighten these all the way down. So, see what I'm tightening this junk. Oh, it's loosening that one. So, I gotta. Oh, man. Up. Move head Z. That'll work. All right, I'm just gonna level the bed, get everything leveled in as best as I can, and uh, try this all over again. I don't know if there's something that's supposed to be here to touch that, to turn that off. I did see somebody printed something right here so that it would touch faster or sooner, I should say. Um, but I'm not really seeing anything. <clears throat> Wrench, screwdriver, I just touched it. Memory card, that, that. That, that, that. I got everything in it. So as you can see, right there, that's on there with the limiter or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so let me just level it and uh, we'll uh, try to do a first print. Just do something that's on the memory card and then uh, I'll have to go into the house and start slicing and doing whatever. Uh, what I want to print, um, I might do one little test print on this, a quick print, should be like 30 minutes. And uh, what I really want to print on this one is some speed loaders um, for these things, whatever you call those things. I can't remember what they're called anymore. This stuff here those that stuff so a speed loader um, for that um, I'm trying to print three of them out guy at work uh, wants one so anyway uh, let me get it all leveled out and uh, figure all this out put some filament in there and uh, I'll probably do blue because I have that four roll I have this roll blue I got red I got silver, orange, orange I want to keep, um, red I'm trying to keep, so I have silver, silver, orange, red, blue, and I got some more on the way, so I'll probably just use the blue, just because uh, I have a lot of it, obviously, you can tell. Oh, don't look at that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll uh, be back once I get everything leveled, like I keep saying. Um, so stay tuned. I will be back. All right, guys. Took about half hour to level the bed. <clears throat> so I'm printing off something that was in it. It says a whistle. So um, we got speed sixty sixty. flow 100% I'm gonna see what that does 80% see 8 not really seeing what I saved percent 80%
Well, it says that it's going to take an hour, hour and seven minutes to print a vessel. So, I'm going to print this. I'm going to go in and download. I'm going to go in the house, download uh, whatever they're recommending. I'm going to go on their website, longer, longer website, and see what they recommend for a... I guess you can call it a slicer or a dicer. Either way, it's whatever it is. So, um, yeah, I don't need the USB cord. <clears throat> what I ended up leveling it with was this piece of wood, or not wood, <laughs> a piece of paper. It's from a punch set. set. It's basically the size, a little bit thinner than a business card. Um, but yeah, and it's cold out here. Got the heater on. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna let this run and uh, take a memory card with me. I started putting together uh, some stuff for this one. I am using uh, silver PLA 1.75 millimeters. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me let this print and. Uh, come back out hopefully in an hour and see what her dues so we're at eight minutes right now so might have to update the firmware uh, I've been reading and whatever saying to update the firmware I might do that also on a memory card and uh, go from there so we'll be back it's going it's where you built a little ball inside and then I guess you gotta break the ball. Um, all done. Let's see if her whistles. Oh, I gotta take it off. They gave you a, a spatula. Oh. Might be too hot still. But I got this one apart, putting cool parts on. No, the the ball was printed in there. We can see it. It's crazy. Ready? My whistle's too wet. 